today I will be talking about a very interesting experience I had with my first love. So this is way back when I was about 17 years old and I met this guy. Uh, when we first met, I didn't think anything of it, but I ended up really falling for him. But he just turned out to be a little bit dodgy. Maybe eight weeks after we started dating, I found out from his actual girlfriend that he had a girlfriend. And what did she do? She texted me and was like, hey, hi, I've heard that you and so-and-so are seeing each other and I just want to tell you that I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> and of course I was just like, what? What is happening? And I confronted him about it and he was like, you know, I was afraid of telling you we'd broken up, but then we got back together and then I didn't know how to tell you, but. Him and I had sort of been talking I'm so stupid. Well, I was so stupid. I kept going back because I was so in love. So we're now just friends or something, I don't know. And we're at this party, all of us. And then after eating, everybody kind of just goes outside. Music is playing. The parents are sitting, beating stories. And then the kids are also sitting on this other side. And then I noticed that he's not amongst the kids. So I'm like, eh, where is he? I'm asking his friends, nobody's saying anything. I ask his brother, his brother's like, I don't know. I walk around the whole house, it was a huge mansion with a big compound and I can't find him. I'm texting him, I'm calling him, he's not picking up. So I'm like, okay, this is dodgy. A couple of hours later, he shows up. And of course at this point I'm livid, you know, like really, really angry. And I'm like, where have you been? And then he says, I had gone to village market with this chick. Oh, and what were you doing with this girl at village market? Oh, we were just talking, you know, like just sharing about a lot of stuff. And yeah, we were just talking in the car. Uh-huh. So you left me, your kind of sort of girlfriend at this party and went to village market to hang out with this girl and now you're back and you're just acting like it's nothing. And then he starts that whole, yo, if you're gonna get angry, da, 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 I don't wanna talk about this, I wanna go. And I'm like, dude, like, are you not understanding how you're making me feel? So at this point it's like midnight, one. Guys are tired of the party at the parents' house and they kinda just wanna go clubbing. So him and his boys then made a plan to leave and I was like, if you're leaving, I'm leaving with you. There's no way you're going without me. Yeah. So he enters his boy's car into the back seat and I enter the back seat as well. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be left behind here. And I'm like, whatever you're going, I'm going with you too. So his boy who's driving is in the front seat, is in the driver's seat. And then I kind of see him look into the rear view mirror and they look at each other and exchange a look. So I'm like, Allah, I'm not going anywhere. So the car starts moving. They're like, oh, it's sour. They used to call me Keshi. Like, sour Keshi, let's go. So the car is driving really slowly. And then um, he tells me, you know what? Let's stay. I'll meet them later. So he says, let's get out of the car. These guys will go. And then he's going to meet them later. So we get out of the car to go back to the party so that we can talk, right? Me, at this point, I'm like, yes, it's working out. We're gonna fix this, we're gonna work it out. And then his boy is just driving slowly away. I can see the car just moving slowly. So we're walking towards the house nicely and I'm like, okay, so you know, um, yeah, it really hurt my feelings that you left with this girl. And then before I know it, the dude has turned around and is sprinting <laughs> after this car. So, of course, I'm just like, wait, what just happened? Kumbe, the dude was driving slowly so that he would give him time to catch up with the car. So I'm standing there like, Allah, Allah, what do I do? What, what's going on? Dude runs, catches up to the car and jumps on the boot of the car and holds on to it. And then the car drives off. So me, I'm just there like, even me, I can run after this car. So I'm just like, ding, 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 ding. I don't know, I don't know. I just felt like in this space in time, my anger and emotion and adrenaline will have me catch up to this car. Suffice it to say, I did not reach the car. 
So nimekimbia yangu yote. I'm just running, running, running. The car is speeding off. It gets to the corner, stops so that he can get off the boot that he had been holding on to and jump into the car and then they get in there. Like it's a movie. Mimi nimekimbia then you know like in a movie the way somebody's running fast and then they just start slowing down slowly to act. And I'm just like okay. It's dark in the middle of a street somewhere in Nairobi. I'm by myself. Um uh, just hearing some loose music playing just dimly in the back. In that moment everything is moving in slow motion and I can't believe what just happened. So in my head I'm like one a dude literally ran away from me. Two I literally ran after a guy. Like it happened. Three Like I, I, I was alone. I was left alone. That's the story about how I ran after a guy who was running away from me. I was known as the crazy ex-girlfriend for a long time after that and you know what? I couldn't even refuse. <laughs>